Sorry, right, radio down. Um, just on my way to the shop. Actually, let's pull over quickly here and just do a quick little update. We're like, what, three days, four days away from, from getting all of our bits done in time for Reading Festival 2021 and Leeds, of course, if you're going to Leeds too. And I'm very excited for it to for it to go ahead. Sunday for me is probably the weakest day, but in this video, we're gonna go over the top five acts to be excited for in the 2021 lineup on the Sunday at Reading, Friday at Leeds. And in, which order should we go in? Okay, let's start off with a bit of a classic. I'm really hoping I can get this WTF episode out before the festival because I feel like I've been working on it for literally all of my life. So the first act I want to talk about is, of course, the incredible Shy FX. Shy FX has been making music since like 1993. He's been around the block for a long, 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 long time. The WTF episode I've, done, I've written for him is probably the best, like, most research I've ever done for an artist. I'm terrified of doing it because it's such an important artist in, in like, my, my, my opinion, my repertoire of, of musicians. He's an incredible drum and bass producer from London, I think from Tottenham, and has been an influ influential artist to so many amazing, amazing DJs over the last kind of 15 years, 20 years. Just an absolute amazing icon. Yeah, 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 oh, oh, oh. He's playing on the dance stage on the Sunday at Reading Friday at Leeds. Yeah, if you like jungle, if you like drum and bass, if you like reggae, if you like dub, if you like dubstep, if you like anything UK and bass, then Shy FX is your guy. That is going to be an amazing set. Okay, moving up, someone I'm really excited for on the Festival Republic stage, which is probably where I'm going to be spending most of my day on that Sunday, I'm not going to lie, is Baby Queen, one of the first WTF episodes I did this year. She's brilliant, really exciting. I think her career is just going up and up and up and up and up and up. I think if you like people like Holly Humberstone, if you like people like Billie Eilish, if you like people like Big Pig, she fits into that kind of alt pop scene but is a little bit more indie. I think she's really cool as well. Like, she's really cool. Apparently she smashed Boardmasters a couple of weeks ago as well. So really excited to see where her career goes and where she's headed. Next on the list is an artist that I didn't really give enough of the time of day in 2019. Loved doing the WTF episode. Think he's an amazing guy. That is, of course, Bakar. Bakar's gone on over the last couple of years. He's worked with people like Mid. He's put his own records out, which have been amazing. I think this guy's gonna go on to just be a real, real important guy in UK music. I'm currently working on the Masterpiece WTF episode, and I think there's a lot of comparisons that are drawn between Bakar and, and Masterpiece. Similar kind of vibes, like influence from hip hop, but makes real alt indie UK music really amazing uh, the record all in is one of my favorites by him just an amazing array of, of records that he's released and really excited to see where he's going to go and again playing the festival public stage this year didn't give him enough time in 2019 i'm really excited to go and really pay attention to that sex i think he's absolutely brilliant Next on the list is the one of the only artists on the main stage that I'm excited for. I have seen Wolf Alice before, however, if this feels like it's a big slot for them, and I think that this last album theirs is really great, really grown on me. I really didn't enjoy it when it first came out, but listened to it a few times, and actually, I think it's an absolute corker. They're amazing, and I'm really surprised they're not booked to headline, if I'm honest with you. I easily think they're bigger than people like Catfish. They won a Mercury, for fuck's sake. They're fucking huge, and such an easy win for Festival Republic to finally book a female headliner and they've not done it so well female fronted band headliner not that i think we should be categorizing wolf alice greatness just because of uh, ellie but but there's an easy win to get away from the misogyny that is the reading festival headliners but there we go clearly they don't view it that way records like giant peach are festival anthems <laughs> bros uh, don't delete the kisses <laughs> that new record of theirs that I just want you to be happy or whatever I can't remember what it's called play the greatest hits I think they've got the rock for Reading they've got the pop for the other festivals they're massive they're absolutely massive and I think all Alice are destined for great things I'm really excited to check them out on that Sunday at Reading 
And finally, my most excited act on the on the Sunday at Reading, Friday at Leeds, is probably Girl in Red. I'm not gonna lie. The way I hope it works is clearly main stage is gonna go main stage west, then main stage east, then main stage west, then main stage east. So someone's gonna have to clash with the headliners on the main stage. What I hope it is is that Liam Gallagher goes on last, and I think that makes more sense. Although Biffy have gone last the last two times they've headlined, but I think it makes more sense for Liam Gallagher to go on last. I think Jerry Cinnamon, Biffy Clyro. Liam Gallagher and if it goes that way then hopefully Girl in Red clashes with Liam and I can go and watch Girl in Red because that debut album of hers is amazing. The WTF episode I did for her last year was brilliant. I think that she was amazing then. She's got only gone on to do bigger and better things. And I'm really excited to see her live. Like, I'm really excited. I was excited to see her last year when before she got before, obviously, the festival was cancelled. And I think that she's destined, again, for great, great things. Super amazing influences. She worked with people like Phineas, uh, Billie Eilish's brother, on her re most recent album. And I just think that, I think that's going to be a hell of a set. That Festival Republic stage on the Sunday was an all-female day until Bacar came along, which is strange, but it is what it is. And that's that's okay too, I guess. Other artists that I'm potentially interested in checking out, Nico B, Bad Boy Chiller Crew could be fun if I'm back in the arena by that point. Uh, Coben's a great drum and bass DJ. Blocks, Holly Humberstone, Lauren Hibbard on the on the BBC introducing stage, I think could be quite quite interesting. And, and of course, Biffy Clyro head headlining in the evening will be will be amazing. But actually, that Sunday's a little weak for me. I'm not gonna lie, it's my weakest day. What do you think? Who are you excited to see on that Sunday? Who's gonna who's gonna finish off your festival for you? Hopefully, there's a nice little secret. Set just to, just to sweeten it a little bit as well but we shall see we're three days away from being in that campsite i cannot wait cannot wait let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always and i'll see you in the next one cheers bye